Hey guys, today I'm filming my next update in my rolling sample project pan series. I don't have as many empties this month as I had last month and that's because it has not been four weeks since my last update. Last time I had extra progress, this time I had less progress. I'm trying to get caught up on my videos but I do still have some good empties to share and I have made good progress on these products. So we will start with the things that I have used up and starting with hair, I use the Dry Bar Blonde Ale Brightening Shampoo and Conditioner Foil Packet. I really love this shampoo and conditioner. It has a nice scent and it doesn't make my hair too greasy, which is great because I have very oily roots. I don't notice it doing anything special for my blonde hair. I do have a couple travel sizes of this that I'll be happy to use up, but I could possibly see myself buying this in the full size in the future if it was on sale but I have so many shampoo and conditioners that I'm not going to need to buy any still for the next couple of years even though I've been doing my best to truck through them. Which brings me to my set of mini shampoo and conditioners. This would be the System Professional Color Save Shampoo and Conditioner. I've said that word too many times now. So this is where I was on the shampoo and this is where I was on the conditioner. So I had only about half of this left and I did not like this, which surprised me because I have really loved all of the other system hair products that I've tried so far. And I'm not sure if this is like postpartum hair texture or it's these products, but my roots were extra greasy and my ends were extra dry for some reason. So, I just did not love this. So I know that I've tried their Hydrate Mask and their Balance Shampoo and either the conditioner or the mask. And I think that the conditioners are nothing special from this brand, but the hair masks are great. And I have like that Balance Shampoo, but this Color Save system, not for me. I also finished up my leave-in hair product. This is the Purology Color Fanatic leave-in. I was right here at my last update. It is all used up. There might be a tiny bit of product in the bottom, but when I applied it today, I had it upside down. I was banging the bottle on my hand, so I am definitely calling it done. This is something that I do really enjoy. I have several more minis and a full size. It's something that I would definitely consider purchasing in the future. I do think I like It's a 10 a little bit more. They're a very similar product, but I like the smell of the It's a 10 better, but this is definitely in my top three leave-in hair products. Then moving on to skincare, I have one thing I'm having to throw out and this has expired. This is a Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. This is supposed to be clear, like translucent, like a silicone primer and it is now yellow tinted and it smells. So I'm gonna throw this out, but I did really enjoy this. I love the texture of it because it's something I can wear under makeup. Yes, it is a little slippery so your makeup might slip and slide a little bit, but it didn't feel gross on my skin and a lot of other SPFs do feel gross. So it's something that I would consider purchasing in the future. I do have another Super Goop sunscreen. I can't remember which one it is. They have so many and I'm definitely looking forward to trying that one on my face and seeing what I think about that compared to this one, but I did really enjoy that. Then we've got the rest of my skincare empties. The first thing I finished was another of the Glam Glow Super Cleanse Clearing Cream to Foam Cleanser. This is a very nice cleanser. I really like the texture of this. It has a really nice slightly minty scent. Makes my skin feel very fresh. I don't think I would purchase this because I know it's just super expensive but a lot of people did get this in their BoxyCharm for the month of June and if I had no cleansers left, I would consider buying this off the BoxyCharm Facebook group because I'm sure it's going for a really great price. But I have a lot of cleansers, but I do really recommend that one. Then I finished up my nighttime serum, which is the Sunday Riley A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum. I do enjoy the texture of this product. I haven't noticed any huge results, but as you will see, I do have a full size that I am going to be working on now until I use it up and hopefully I'll see some results there but I do also know that I have very teenage skin still so maybe if 
my skin had like a little bit more lines and wrinkles I would notice more from this but we'll see I definitely will continue using up any little minis that I get and my next two products have one use left but I'm going to mention them in the empties because I am not going to remember all of the detailed thoughts for next month's update so I have one more use left of my full size serum, which is so exciting. This is the number seven early defense glow activating serum. And I know that this was a couple months of progress. I didn't feature this in a couple of updates, but I was here last month. Now I'm down to here. This is a one fluid ounce product. I love the texture of this. It feels so smooth and it sinks in quickly it's not sticky at all and i do think that this gives some extra hydration i don't really notice the glow i don't think i would go out of my way to purchase because i don't notice it doing anything for my skin but i love the texture of this i would say this is one of my favorite serums that i've tried because of that and if a free one came my way again that's how i got this it was ulta freebie i happily use it up this was really nice and then the other product that has one use left, and I should have used it today, but I didn't. I just put on my serum today because I just got out of the shower and it is 1030 at night when I'm filming this video. So if I would have used this, it would have been gone, but that's okay. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel Moisturizer. And I've heard a lot of people really rave about this line. The first time I tried it, I was like, oh, this is too much. It felt like a little I mean it definitely has a gel consistency it felt like a lot when I put it on my face initially but it did sink in really quickly and these two worked so well together my face felt so smooth which was nice as someone that does have a lot of pores and texture it was nice for my face to feel smooth this did give a really good amount of hydration for my oily skin during the day so this is something that I would definitely purchase in the future I'm happy to find a drugstore moisturizer that I really love so both of these are products I would recommend and I would call favorites I'm gonna set these over here to the side so I don't throw them away so I get that final use but then I've got a few more things that I did use up. So this is a deluxe size of the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Lotion. So it is that thinner gel consistency. Oh, I had a little bit come out. Has just like a light scent. And it is very thin. I don't mind it. It does feel smooth, but I didn't love it. I think the Neutrogena Hydro Boost is better and I would pick that over this one if I get any more minis I will likely pass it on it wasn't bad but I just have other things that I prefer then I used up my wishful honey balm jelly moisturizer and this is a really nice creamy consistency it doesn't feel like the Clinique jelly moisturizer I hate the consistency of that one this one is very smooth I actually like the scent of this and I don't really like honey. A little bit did go a long way. This feels very smooth on the skin, but it is pretty hydrating. So it's something I would use at night. If I got a deluxe size sample, I would use it up, but I wouldn't purchase it. Then I have these two foil samples of Glam Glow. This first one is the Moisture Trip Omega Rich Moisturizer. It definitely is a heavy moisturizer, but it felt nice for nighttime. It was a little simple. And then we've got the Glam Glow Water Burst Hydrated Glow Moisturizer. And this has that cream sickle scent like the Glow Starter Illuminating Moisturizers that are in like the pink packaging that come in a couple different shades. And I really do not like the scent. It's not quite as strong as that one, but it was a little bit too hydrating for my preference anyway. And I do not like the scent, so I would not purchase those. And then I have one body empty, which is really exciting. I use this up way faster than I thought I would. And that would be the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub and the Coconut Lime Scent. And it's a very small size. It only is two and a half ounces. And the reason I went through it so quickly is because I used it every other day. And I was using it on all of my stretch marks, which for me is on my stomach, my thighs, and on my butt. And this did a really nice job of scrubbing the skin without feeling like it was roughing up my skin it's a really nice texture and i actually really did enjoy this scent the coconut and the lime mix so well together this is a really nice summer scent and this is something i actually would consider purchasing in the future 
they did a great job of exfoliating and I'm happy I was able to get into the routine because I do have a couple other body scrubs that I would like to use up this year but I definitely will consider purchasing these in the future I also just recently got uh, recently got several tanning products and I know that you should exfoliate before you apply a self tanner so I might be buying these sooner rather than later but so happy I finally used it up because that was pretty old in my collection and now we have all the things that I am going to be working on so I'm going to show them to you in the order that I apply them but in the description box I will have them separated by in progress and newly added so for hair products for shampoo I'm going to be using the system silver shampoo which is supposed to you know, neutralize any brassiness in the hair I haven't dyed my hair in a very long time I need to so I don't think this will do anything for me color wise but I'm excited to see what I think of that formula and then this is something that I was working on from last month this was my second bottle of the system color save conditioner I am down here so I probably have one more use left in here as well so once I use that up I will be using the color save mask and I'm assuming I'm going to like this because the masks are from my experience very hydrating so that'll be great because my hair definitely needs it then for my leave-in hair product I am going to be using this bumble and bumble don't blow it fine hair styler and I definitely prefer things that are in like a spray bottle instead of like a squeeze package like this but I want to use that up and then I am going to be adding in a different kind of hair styling product we'll say this is the bumble and bumble surf spray salt spray I have three of these half ounce sizes and I would love to finish up one in June July and August so we'll see if that's possible I am behind in videos and everything still so we'll see or we'll see if I even like it I haven't tried this before and we'll see if I like it with this length of hair I don't know we'll see but it's going in there for now and I did decide to add in dry shampoos I don't know why I don't I guess it's because I can't typically track my progress and I just use my dry shampoos oldest to newest like I do basically all of my hair and skincare products so my next oldest dry shampoo is this 1.7 ounce size of the Moroccan oil dry shampoo the light tones version I've used it once so far I really like the scent it does remind me a bit of the dry bar and it is weighing at 2.41 ounces with the packaging so we'll see what the weight is next month then for my skincare products for my liquid makeup remover I have the Lancome by Facil face we were right here at my last update now we are down to here you guys know this will most likely be until the end of the year I just really use this to clean up but I'm happy with the progress that I'm making for my cleanser I'm going to be using the Mario Badescu glycolic foaming cleanser this is a one ounce size and I have used it two or three times now so it was up to the top but now I am down here and I feel like I can get through this in probably two months and then something that will be used up by next month because it's so tiny this is the origins checks and balances polishing face scrub and this is super small it only comes with 0.17 fluid ounces so I am officially all out of my deluxe size serums so I'm going to be using full sizes from here on out if I do get any minis along the way I will just pull them in and use them up so I don't have them sitting around but I am really happy to get onto my full sizes because I actually did no this was a freebie from Ulta and I did buy this one this actually from some website I can't remember but it was a free product you only had to pay for shipping which was six dollars so the daytime one that I'm going to be using is the Murad acne control outsmart acne clarifying treatment and this weighs 1.7 ounces so we'll see what the scale says it weighs with the packaging I have not used this at all yet and the scale says it is 2.84 ounces and then for nighttime I am going to be using the Sunday Riley A plus high dose retinoid serum I have been using this for a couple weeks now but because of the packaging I'm not really able to see where I'm at and I did not weigh it 
brand new so I'm gonna start weighing it from here on out and this is a heavy glass bottle so we'll see how much it weighs this comes with one fluid ounce of product and apparently it is too heavy for my scale there's like an error message coming up so we'll just keep weighing it and hopefully at some point we will be able to see a weight because I will have used up a good amount of product then for moisturizers for the daytime, I will start using the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream. I did try this before years ago and I remember liking it. And then for nighttime, I've already used this two or three times. This is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a cream, but I don't need that much of this and it does come with a good amount of product. So that will probably take me like two months to get through. And then the last skincare product is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm. And I have already used up a good portion of this, but there is still a lot left, which is great because I do really like this. And I have this and then one full size eye cream. And then I do want to add in two body products. So this is a scrub that I think is going to last me probably till the end of the year, but I want to start using this. I don't want it to go bad. This is the First Day Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub. I do have keratosis pilaris on my arms and I probably will also try using this on my stretch marks because why not? It has 10% AHA and this is a four ounce bottle. We will see if my scale can weigh this. And no, it cannot. And the saying it is too heavy to way so I'll try weighing it next month then I'll also try feeling around to see if I can make some progress lines but I can tell there is an air bubble in here and then I do have a lotion I want to use up instead of trying to use any perfumes this summer I want to try to use body lotions and I have three of this size of the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream this comes with 0.84 fluid ounces or 25 mills and I don't know if I've used this at all yet some of the product has like moved to the side but this is a very potent lotion I do like this but it's very very potent and I likely won't be wearing perfume with this also but that's fine for summertime and definitely a little bit more low-key in the summer so hopefully I will make myself use this I am terrible with lotion which is why I have so many stretch marks and then I have three random products that I used up this month. I finished too many dry shampoos. The first is the one by Frederick Fakai. I love this. It has a really great scent, slightly vanilla, and it soaks up the oil in my hair completely. And it does give me a little bit of volume. I love this, but unfortunately this has been discontinued, which sucks. This was so, so good. I don't have any more in my collection. I also finished the Bumble and Bumble Pret a Powder Tray Invisible Dry Shampoo. The scent on this one was okay. I don't think it soaked up the oil in my hair incredibly well. It didn't really give me any volume. This was not something I was a fan of, so I would definitely not repurchase that. And then I finished up a full-size face scrub, which was great because I've been working on this for a while. This is the Mari Badescu Botanical Exfoliating Scrub. It's a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle and this is a sugar scrub and I do really enjoy this one but I do have two other full-size scrubs in my collection that I will be excited to use and really pick a favorite from there. I have the Clinique City Block Purifying Scrub and that one is a little bit more of a sandy consistency which I think I'm gonna like more and then I have the Pure Joystick which is a stick exfoliator so we'll see but this is something that I do really recommend I do enjoy it and I would consider purchasing in the future and lastly I have a bunch of things that I am going to be decluttering for various reasons so I am decluttering several dry shampoos to my sister she uses dry shampoo about every day and she was in need of some and I have way too many so I wanted to pass them on to her last month I gave her like four IGK the charcoal dry shampoo and then this month I gave her two of this little mini size of the Bumble and Bumble and five of the Clorane dry shampoo with oat milk. This is like my third favorite dry shampoo. My number one is the Dry Bar Detox and number two is the Frederick Fakai. But I do have several of the Dry Bar in my collection right now and a few others that I'm wanting to test. So I think that these are definitely going to be better served by my sister. 
And then the rest of the things I have here are skincare. I have a couple of things that I'm going to be giving to my friend Stephanie. And that would be the Bosha Luminizing Black Charcoal Mask. I've never used this before, but I, I'm just a little too scared too. And these come in free gifts all the time. So I'll probably have another opportunity at some point. Then the Peter Thomas Roth Firm X Peeling Gel. I have used this before. It's nice, but I never use peels. And I have a few others in my collection. And then the Becca Skin Love Glow Elixir. I just don't need another glowy serum. And I know Becca's not going to be around for much longer. And then I have some products I'm going to be sending to my friend Sheila. The first is going to be this Dermalogica Prisma Protect SPF 30 Moisturizer. And then I'm going to be giving her the rest of my Sunday, Sunday Riley products. I've discovered that I really only like the serums from her. Everything else I could kind of care less about. So I'm going to be passing on the Ceramic Slip Cleanser, the CEO Glow Oil, the Luna Oil, and I have these two like travel sizes of the CEO vitamin C moisturizer. And then I'm also giving her the mini ice moisturizers that I decluttered last month. So I'm excited to pass this on. I know this is a fancy brand and I know Sheila will enjoy it more than I have. So guys, that was my update for my rolling sample project pan. I'm hoping to have a decent amount of empties next month, but we'll see. I'm just hoping I'm not lazy and I continue to use these products so i would love to know what things you are using and loving right now and i would love to know your thoughts on these products in the comments down below thank you all so much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you soon bye guys